The topic was lucid dreaming. And I studied it, and I knew it inside and out. And I wrote down word for word what I was going to say in my speech. I'm sitting there, my hands were shaking, and I was really nervous. And right when it was just about to be my turn to be called up, I decided to take a chance. I just threw my notes up and said, I'm just going to go up and give the presentation. I felt like I was on fire. I was in asking, you know, inviting questions from my peers, and somehow I knew all of the answers. It was an amazing experience, and I vividly remember it. It was at that moment that I realized that I had a passion for teaching. After grad school, I entered the workforce. Three years later, I was managing the doldrums. So I started to look for another opportunity. And I found an opportunity to work on a technology project. A group of us would meet after work, and one wise woman asked everyone in the group. She said, what do you want to do when this project is over? The words echoed in my mind. What do I want to do? I reflected, and I said, I want to do multimedia. The dream was realized. The dream was put into motion. After the project, I went back to school. I took animation and graphic classes. I started my own multimedia corporation. And now I head the multimedia graphic design department here at Front Range Community College. And I love it. Reflecting on my own life experience, I suggest you experiment. Take chances. Find time to evaluate and reevaluate your direction in life. And as you experiment, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Not only does making mistakes increase wisdom, mistakes also help you to develop insight into your own desires and allow you to continually find and do what you love. I would like to leave you with one last story. I recently lost a good friend in an unfortunate car accident. He was an amazing man. He had a wife and four young children, and he was a special ed teacher. I met Lance in 1992, and he helped me find and do something that I still love to do to this day. A few weeks ago, I was at the memorial service, and Lance's wife got up to speak. And she shared some of the cute things, that, some of the memories. And one of the memories she had was that the two of them liked to write down cute things that the kids would say. One of them that I remember was said by the youngest child, their, their daughter. And it was said just on an ordinary day, she said, when my daddy gets home, it will be a holiday. This man loved his job and family, and he made a huge impact. There were about a 1,000 people at the service, and I think that it shows that he lived his life with passion and enjoyed it all. And along the way, he changed the world. In matters of the heart and employment, to find and do what you love can change your world and the world around you. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you, Brandon.